I'm Bambi Francisco with Vader News. Well, do you want one single place to discover diverse activities and experiences? Well, go to Did It. Founded by former executive and backed by Axel Partners, Did It just launched this Thursday. Joining me to talk about Did It is Paul Gautier, who co-founded Inked Me and is a co-founder of Did It. Paul, thanks for joining me. Oh, thanks for having me. Congratulations on the launch. Oh, thank you. It's pretty exciting. Now, you are quoted in your release as saying you want Did It to be the Amazon for your life, making us the definitive place people visit to discover and attain life experience. That's a big goal. And even Amazon started by focusing on selling books. So are you, selling, are you focusing on a particular type of activity or experience today to build up a core user base? Uh, so no, we've actually got a pretty broad selection of things to do on Did It. So whether you're into surfing or snowboarding or drinking wine, reading books, watching movies, uh, we've assembled a giant database of all the fun things to do in the world. So you can come on, you can learn about them, you can uh, read what other people have to say about them who've done those things, and you can then share with the community the things you've done, sort of check things off. I've been there, I've done it, I did it. Why did you decide to create something like this? I mean, you can go to Facebook today and you find like-minded people to go skiing with or go on trips with, uh, did, clearly you felt there was a void in the market. Yeah, a lot of the sort of great information about things you want to do, sort of special things, aspirations you have, uh, a lot of it's sort of locked up in the print world right now. There's sort of magazines you read for that or guidebooks you read for that. Um, collecting all that information up, bringing it online, putting it all in one place, and then making it social and interactive seemed like a, a good goal for us. So want to be a big active, the site for active, people who are looking for active experiences or experiences. Uh, there's definitely a lot, of, uh, a lot of content on there for people who are sort of into outdoors and active things, but it's not just about that. Uh, maybe you're into um, sort of wines or you're into uh, going on roller coasters or you're into watching movies or reading books. Uh, we have content that spans pretty much anything that people are passionate about. Uh, if it's a hobby you have or something that you're excited about, we want to have those special things, the kind of things that you're excited to have accomplished. You want to tell your friends that you've done. Now, when I looked at the site and I was checking it out, it reminded me a little bit of Yelp because you have a lot of reviews. So it's a bit like a Yelp site for activities. I mean, you even have McDonald's, a review for McDonald's. So um, is it like a Yelp except broader? Uh, we have similarities to a lot of other sites that are out there. Um, definitely Yelp has been very successful in sort of uh, getting people to write reviews about restaurants uh, right. or, or sort of nightlife in the area. They're doing a great job at that. Uh, we're trying to do something that's a lot more broad than that. Um, ski runs you might want to do at a ski resort, uh, wines you might want to drink, uh, books you might want to read. Across many different areas we want to have those special experiences where you can sort of connect with them and connect with people who are interested in those things. Well let's take a look at typically this, this is actually my profile here and we're going to look at top ski resorts so if I were to use this to find out what, I mean, how would I use this as a, as a user? Yeah, I mean, the first thing you do when you come to Did It is you can use it as sort of a resource, as a reference. Um, maybe I'm interested in planning a ski trip, and here's a list of the sort of top ski resorts in North America. Mm -hmm. um, we've got sort of reference information, uh, sort of facts and figures about the different resorts, and then we've got sort of personal stories from people who've been there and done that. Um, sort of this person has been to Vail, and they've uh, noticed they always see famous people when they go there. It's sort of interesting color about these different things you might want to do. Right. Um, and I also noticed that one of the things that... Uh, I mean, what, what you want is you want user input, mm -hmm. and you have people sharing their stories about you know, the fact that that person went to Vail and there. So how do you, how do you get people to uh, interact with your site? Uh, so one of the interesting things about Did It is, uh, you know, you start out just using it as a resource, but it's very easy to then sort of get engaged with the site and connect with the site. Uh, and we do that through the check mark, the Did It check mark. So you can go around the site and start checking off all the things you've done in your life. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's how you build your profile on Did It if you want to become a member of the community. Mm -hmm. uh, on Did It, you are what you do. So you can check things off, and your profile builds up with all the things you've accomplished in your life. Um, after you've done that for a while, maybe you'll check off something that you're really passionate about or really knowledgeable about, mm -hmm. uh, and that's your opportunity to start telling a story, start mm -hmm. providing information to the community about something you know a lot about. Now, I notice if you look at the very top, you have, uh, let's see, 35% of people have checked off more than one. Uh, um, I think that you basically you have you capture how many people would like to do a certain activity. It's almost like a leading indicator. What, what do you think you can do with that data in the future? Uh, so, the, so on Did It, you can check off the things you've done and the things you want to do uh, in the future. Um, 
part of that is just building up your profile, sort of sharing with the world who you are through your accomplishments. Um, but the other thing that we can do with that eventually is start doing very personalized recommendations for you. Uh, so if you've gone around did it and sort of told it all the things you enjoyed, all the things you want to do, uh, it'll be able to sort of look at much like uh, an Amazon or a Netflix does. If you bought this, you might also buy that. Good, did it yeah. can say, if you enjoyed these things, here's some other things you might want to try. Uh, personalized experience recommendations for your life. Okay. Well, we're going to wrap it up there, but we're going to have you back for a second part of this interview, so Paul, stick around. Sure. I've been speaking with Paul Gauthier. He co-founded Ink2Me and is also co-founder of Did It, which just launched. I'm Bambi Francisco.